The call to Hajj. And that's why I have a balloon. He has a balloon today. So long, long ago, Prophet Ibrahim settled his wife Hajar or Hagar and baby Ismail in a lonely valley in Arabia. Why are there so many Ismail? <laughs> Thanks to the miracle of Zamzam Spring there, some people began to live there. Slowly, it became a small city, later known as Mecca. Okay. Ismail grew up in a strong and love he grew up a strong and loving youth. The Prophet Ibrahim and Ismail were ordered by Allah to build the house of Allah, which was called the what? Mecca. Mecca. It's a Mecca but build the Ka. Abba. Kaaba to build the Kaaba. This is the Kaaba, mashallah. So this is where they were at, and then they were ordered by Allah to build the Kaaba in Mecca, inshallah ta'ala. Prophet Ibrahim and Ismail. So but together, how did they, build that? they build it. Look, we're going to read. Look, they took stones from the nearby hills and started to work. For the sacred land, Ibrahim prayed, My Lord, make this land secure and provide its people with fruits, such of them as believe in Allah and the last day. So Ibrahim was making dua, which is so important for Allah to provide them with fruits, vegetables, and for the land to be safe so that they can live there. And then they were finding little bricks, they were finding bricks nearby, and then they began to build the Kaaba. Yeah, like they were walking up mountains like this. Mm -hmm. And then doing what? And then they showed up with what? Grabbing hurry up. bricks. Hurry up. Like they can't see you in the camera. Grabbing bricks like I'm grabbing this plate up. And then they began to put them together yeah, like so that they this. can build place the Kaaba. Okay. Them down. As he smile goes and he gets the bricks, he's showing us how they were building. You see? Placing so they them placed down. Them on top of each they other. were doing this and then so they kept on stacking, stacking. Stacking. Side by side. Stacking. And then on top of each stacking, other. Stacking. Stacking. Right? Stacking, Until they finally stacking, built the Kaaba, mashallah. So as the Prophet Ibrahim and Ismail laid the very first stones on which the Kaaba would stand, they prayed, Our Lord, accept this from us. You are the all-hearing, the all-seeing, because Allah hears and, and all, sees everything. And also the all-forgiving. And the offer giving, like, you, like we always say, said in the other videos. Yep, Allah loves to forgive, so we I, should also forgive. I love seeing that. What is that? I that is the, the Kaaba. Kaaba. I want to go to the Kaaba. We're gonna go one day, right? You can go with Shalata, me, you, mommy, Sumeya, right? The See? wrong that's my <laughs> mommy is my mom's name. Or her name is Alejandra, and his name is Imam Wesley. My name is Ismael Lebron. And your sister's name is? Sumaya. Sumaya. Like the, and like then you have, the your, wife, you have your brother also? Zakaria. And your brother? <laughs> Josh. <laughs> 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 then and they I have added, a lot of aunts. He has a lot of aunts and uncles. MashaAllah, like all of you have a lot of aunts and uncles. So then they added another dua. They said, Our Lord, make us bow to you in prayer and make our children a nation which submits to you in prayer you know and shows our it? ways of worship. So he was making dua that the children, like you are my child, that you guys would be righteous and you would go to the Kaaba. And make salah in the Kaaba, right? And you want to make salah in the Kaaba. Do you know what is a special reward of praying in the Kaaba? Is that you get um, that Allah reward you with 10 deeds. More than that. If 100? You pray, more. If you pray in the 200? Kaaba, more. 300? A lot more. 1,000? More. 
<laughs> so Allah, the Prophet said, 100,000 prayers for one prayer. Wow. So if you make one prayer at the Kaaba, you get 100,000 Hasanat prayers written for you. Allah Akbar. That now, is so much. So now you really want to go, right? Yeah, it would be better if it was you. Allahu Akbar. So look, so they also prayed for a for prophet to be born in their family who would teach the wisdom to the people and purify their faith. Their prayer was answered many years later when the they, prophet... They put a, um, a, a, a covering Now you're over. seeing how they do it. They We're going to show a, it. See? see, they put a covering so over So the Kaaba it. looks like this. It's bricks. And then they make this covering and they put the covering over it. And they make it all of the time. And they change it. So it can look pretty. Oh, right? look. This is what the Kaaba looks like. Right? That's, that's with the cover on it. So their prayers were answered. When they prayed for a prophet to be from their people, and later on, you know who was born? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet Ibrahim was ordered by Allah to clean the Kaaba for those who came there to pray and to call the people to hajj. Wait, Allah what? said to the Prophet Ibrahim, call all the people to make hajj. We're they should come to you on foot, already. on the backs of camels. They shall come to you from every deep valley and mountain. And now how do we get to the Kaaba? Do we go on camels? No. How do we get there? Airplanes. On airplanes, right? Subhanallah. So back then they would go on camels because they were closed. Now we have to go on airplanes. And so Allah made it a duty for all Muslims. Yeah, because the boys Kaaba is and girls. So, and also the Kaaba is way far away it's from here. Far it's like, away from here. It's like 100 miles away. More further, but it's about like 12 hours on an airplane. Oh my! 13 hours, depending how you go. So, Allah made an obligation and an obligation on all Muslims, male and female, boys and girls, to go on Hajj once in a lifetime. And also, babies. Right? So, here's what's important babies, too. Not babies. Babies could go, but they don't have to. But here, the only time that is obligatory for us to go on Hajj is if we have the money. And if we have the good health, then we can go on Hajj. If we don't have the money, we don't have to go. We would have to get one hundred dollars. So we have to get money to go, right? No, we have to save money. We have to save money. So you I have to save saved. money I so that you can go on Hajj as well, and I we all go together. I shouldn't have saved my my, ten, my thirteen. It's okay. We'll save more money, inshallah, so that we can go on Hajj, inshallah. Say inshallah. inshallah. Right? But I'm only if they had enough money and were healthy enough to go, then that's when it is obligatory. I'm healthy. And Hajj Life is a lot of candy. one of the five pillars of Islam. Hajj is one of the five pillars of Islam. Okay, so Hajj is what? The five pillars one of Islam. One of the five pillars. Hajj is one of the five pillars Being of hard. Islam, inshallah ta'ala. So, finishing up, children. Today, over 25 million people from around the world gathered to make Hajj. Look at all those Look, and then you people. see all those people, and there's a lot more. You can go on YouTube with your parents, and you can see the people making tawaf, going around the Kaaba, making Hajj, inshallah ta'ala. So this story means that believers should promise Allah to follow the example of Prophet Ibrahim. Because him and his family... They did what Allah commanded them to do, whatever you it may be. You should listen to Allah. And we should always tell the truth. Never tell a lie, okay? And we should always want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we only want to look only to Allah and will never be turned aside by what is evil. Meaning... Like that shaitan. we only want to please Allah and make Allah happy. And, and everything shaitan. that is evil like shaitan, we turn away and we run the other way. Yeah, and also, if you say, I'll do Billah and then shaitan and Rajim, you, um, you make shaitan run away. And if you say, A'udhu Billahi min shaitan rajim the shaitan, he runs the other way. So whenever we come in the house, whenever we are bothered, whenever evil comes to us, we say, A'udhu Billahi min shaitan rajim Right? And also, um, you can, if you keep on saying that, he's going to run farther and farther and farther and farther. 
it's the father. <laughs> and farther away in Shalatana. And, and then if he runs too far, he might get lost. Well, if he gets lost, it's okay. No. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. If he gets <laughs> lost, it's okay. So if he gets lost, it's good. So but that was the story lost, of, mashallah, Hajj and how Hajj came to be with the Prophet Ibrahim and how the Prophet Ibrahim and Ismail they built the Kaaba together, and from Ibrahim came the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Don't say sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Don't forget to say sallallahu alaihi wasallam, children. Say sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It's sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And also, I want to show you something that I'm making quickly. Two seconds, inshallah ta'ala. Hurry up because we have to end the video because story time is over, inshallah ta'ala. What is that? That's it. Show it to them. Wait, wait, wait. What? I have to forget. I forgot the last one. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Hurry up. Look. Ismail is trying to build something with his Play-Doh at the moment after reading the story about Hajj. And this is going to be a man, I think, who's going to go... Around the Kaaba, we're gonna make a fake Kaaba here. This is going to be the Kaaba, and Ismail is building the man. Oh, I put it upside down. Ismail is building the man who is going to make tawaf around the Kaaba. Inshallah, Taala. Let's go, Ismail. Hurry up! Hurry up! That's it. Wait, wait, wait! wait. I have to make this. What? He dropped his <laughs> That's his leg. Oh, that was his leg. Hurry up! Bismillah. Okay, do, now, do, 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 look, look, do, 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 do. Go, he's going to off around well, the Kaaba. Now, to... show them your man. Oh. Whoop, show them your man really quick. Hurry up so we can close out. I have to, I have to make his arm longer. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Show it to them. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yeah. And that was the man who went around the Kaaba, inshallah ta'ala. It looks like he's made out of lava. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Give the salam. Assalamu alaikum wa 